Conversations with Keith and Kyle. Your host, Kyle Hatch. Tonight, special guest, Keith Smith. Hello and welcome back to Conversations with Keith and Kyle. I'm your host, Kyle. And as always, I have with me a licensed mortgage loan originator, Keith. Hey, Kyle. I have an important topic for us today. One that will make or break a loan very easily. Wow. Bold statement. I'm not sure I've been this worried since we started talking about underwriters. Well, it has an effect on making an underwriter love or hate your loan. I'm talking about job history. Well, that was a lot of drama for nothing. Don't I just give you my W-2s for the past two years? Done. Good. New house. Here I come. It's not quite that easy. I guess that's not entirely true. It can be that easy if you've worked for the same company for many years and have had a consistent income or an income that has just gradually increased over time. But that really isn't the way the world works for most people nowadays. That's true. Take me for example. I do marketing for you and our team during the week, but on weekends, I work as a DJ on the radio and pick up extra jobs whenever I can. Being a single dad is expensive. Right, and when I was doing your last loan, we had to get verifications of employment from all your jobs and factor in your child support as well. I don't remember helping you get any verification that I worked somewhere. Did you do that? My team did. We try to do as much as possible, but sometimes we need our borrowers to help as well. When we consider your employment, it is the previous two years that carries all the weight when the underwriter reviews your file. Our team asked the internet for help with questions, and we got great response on Twitter. I mean, we didn't get it trending, like not even a little, but we have some really good questions for you. All questions are good questions. I have an answer for everything. Let me hear them. (laughs) Here are a few of my favorites. First up, at Why Deflate Your Balls. Well, they must not be a Patriots fan. (laughs) Why Deflate Your Balls asks, Keith, I just started my own company one year ago. Will being self-employed hurt my ability to buy a home? Self-employed borrowers can have difficulty getting loans if they do not have at least a two-year history of self-employment on their tax returns. However, if they have 12 months as self-employed but have a longer history in the same industry, then the 12 months income can be used as long as they have filed taxes. That's good news for Brady's biggest fan. (laughs) There are ways to help almost everyone. What do we have next? Next up, oh, this is a good one. From At Your Neighbor's Neighbor. Wouldn't that just be you, your neighbor's neighbor? (laughs) I guess, unless they're on the other side of your neighbor. Oh, that's true. Your neighbor's neighbor asks, Keith, I work two jobs. One is part-time. I make decent money, but can I use both incomes to get a loan? You can. For hourly pay, which most part-time jobs are, we can take an average of your past two years' income to qualify. But you must have had the part-time job for two years. There are exceptions here as well. If you receive a pay increase and it can be documented, we can use our base calculations with your new pay rate. So a great resource is to contact a mortgage professional in your area to see how that documentation can increase your purchase power. Right you are. They have a calculator standing by. (laughs) This last one is from at Flabbergasted Flabbergast. And I know who got that handle before me, the jerk. (laughs) Flabbergasted Flabbergast wrote, Keith, I make a small salary, but make cha-ching cash money in commissions and bonus. How does that work? Does it really say cha-ching cash money? Yep. Small salary, cha-ching cash money. Do you expect anything else from Flabbergasted Flabbergast? I mean, it is the internet, no filter. Well, good news for him. It's a him, right? I'm not sure. Their avatar is a blinged out chihuahua. (laughs) I love chihuahuas. The good news is that, yes, as long as they have earned commission and bonuses for the past two years, and it is reasonably likely to continue to be received, that money can be factored into their qualifying income. Great questions, everyone. Thanks for playing along. Keith, as always, great stuff. I love helping people become homeowners. Anything I can do to help. Thanks for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time. Goodbye, everyone.